Hi, this is Damien Marie at Hope, and today I'm going to try to show you how I like to draw. Now, I've been told before by a non-artist that you need to be an anti-realist or somehow uh, accept some form of non-realistic thinking to do art well. I reject this fully. In fact, I think that having a more realistic understanding of what art is, is the issue. So, to me, art is generally, or at least how I do it, is an optical illusion more than anything else. So I'm going to show you, I just use paint. I don't use any special things, it's just all my own ability. So, I'm going to make an eyeball. So I start with just a, a, a circle. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make another circle. And I'm going to pick my eye, because my eye is green, I'm going to make it green. So, I'm going to make the whole thing um, to be green, but I want the inner green to be just a little bit darker, because I want to ring around the eye. So, to me, it, it's understanding it's an optical illusion. Your, your brain is constantly trying to um, find patterns and recognize patterns. So, understanding that, and then creating art that... Um, references that or utilizes what that is um, is what I try to do so you make the, the eyeball itself then we're making the iris and then I'm just gonna put a black um, dot for um, the eye now it already starts looking like an eye so another thing that I, I always do is I just make a white dot um, in the in the black and in between the black and the green or in between the black and whatever color I'm going to do. There. Because it already starts making it look like an eyeball. It's not because the art is being um, done in such an um, oh, uh, uh, exorbitantly you know, artistic way. It's simply being done technically. Understanding that our mind is doing the work for me. So I don't have to do all the art. I, I do some art... And then I rely on um, your mind to do the rest. Now, another thing that I like to do is um, add depth of color sometimes. So for this eye, to make it look even better, we're going to add two more colors. So I'm going to do one darker and then one lighter. So first we'll do the darker. And what I'm going to do with the darker is I'm going to make... Um, the eye generally has some kind of, a, of a loops or things, so I understand that. But I don't have to do it exact. I just have to give the impression because to me all we're doing when we're making art or at least when I'm making art generally is I'm trying to make an optical illusion I'm making it doing what it what it takes so that your brain thinks so I just gonna um, do some of the little things and you see it's it's not very um, in a sense artistic looking I mean, it's not very hard just to make these little lines I'm making. So it's it's not the the it's just a technical thing. It's knowing that when I do this, then the eye, um, when we view this eye, I mean, art with our eyes, that it our brain's going to create the optical illusion for me that makes it look like it's uh, more realistic than it is. And this is something that I think that. Um, goes against this this thinking that you have to be an anti-realist to be an artist. Because I think that the impression that some people have is that, to me, wrongly, is that art is an actual representation. Often, art is not. Very few people, to me, really do extremely realistic art. Most stuff is actually what, like I said, I would call an optical illusion. That they're in, someone's intentionally doing so that the um, the person viewing it uh, has the effect they want. So now I'm going to add it, added a dark around, and I just made some little lines. Now I'm going to add a little bit of a light right around the iris of the hole itself. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the color again, the green, and paint, and I'm just going to go a little bit lighter. So I went a little bit darker, and I'm going to go a little bit lighter. To me, this is just technical. Once you understand this, it's not that hard. So now I'm going to add a little bit um, of stuff right at the hole of the iris.
because when, when it's viewed together, it, it will have uh, a, give it almost like an adept effect. Once again, the reason I'm doing that is because to trick the eye into the optical illusion that I'm wishing it to have. Okay. So, you can already see the eye looks pretty good, right? <laughs> so, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, uh, finish the eye. So, that's like the eyeball. So then um, all eyes have, um, let's say, you know, the little thing in the corner, like your tear duct, whatever it's called. So I'm going to put that just where I think the eye would be, right? So I'm just, and then now I'm going to draw the eye, because now our eyes are not open that wide, unless you want it to be someone scared. So generally, most eyes are just, like an easy thing so I just take this and then I'm gonna go uh, under here and bring it up to my thing so then I'll just uh, erase the top part that I um, first started the eyeball because all I was doing is just giving myself the basic structure to start working off. What I do at my art is I do things, edit, do things, edit, do things, edit. Just cleaning it up. But anyways, so that, that shows you um, really, really quick an eye. Now to make this thing in here look better, I'm going to add even another color. To me, a lot of times depth just has to do with the technical application of multiple colors. Which once again, it... That's because I understand that all I have to do, oops, wrong color. All I have to do is uh, help create the optical illusion for your eye. I'm going to go one darker still. It's all about doing it. And I'm going to put some pink over in this little there <laughs> so you can already start to see that the eyeball and so just to be different I'm gonna make the entire um, background black because <clears throat> I'm gonna make this into a mem of mine now and um, I'm only gonna uh, just leave this uh, one eye just because I wanted to show you guys how how it is that, that I um, you know sometimes can do art and how to me this thought that I you have to be not in reality is inaccurate. It's the understanding that you are hijacking in a sense um, the brains of um, I don't know um, like I said optical illusion. The brain wants to create the world and see things that that are there or not there it's just constantly finding patterns so all to me a good artist is doing is just um, figuring out how to um, hijack that uh, you know optical illusion system and so um, that's pretty much all, all I want to um, do show you right now but just to give you an idea of how it's a uh, it's a technical thing and has nothing to do to me with um, not understanding reality or anti-realism <laughs> thinking. So, thank you.